Mark Spencer here from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com with a quick motion tip about color matching. So here's a situation. You frequently need to match the color of objects in motion to other graphics that you import from other applications. It may be from an Illustrator file, a Photoshop file, or some graphic that you've been given, and you want your motion objects, your shapes, your particles, whatever, to match that precisely. Perhaps it's a corporate color that needs to match, or just for design aesthetic, you need a precise match of color. So there's a little bit of a problem with that with motion, and I want to show you how to fix it. First thing we'll do is go over to Illustrator, and here I have this little text object, 12700. And the reason I've used those numbers is this is the RGB values of uh, this color. You can see here in the color palette, 12700 is the value of this uh, color. If I go into the file menu, you can see under document color mode, I'm in RGB mode, and that's very important. You want to make sure you're not in CMYK for everything to work correctly. So I've got an RGB document. The red, green, and blue values are 127, 0, and 0. If I switch back to motion and bring that object in, you can see I've already brought it in here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check to make sure that that color is correct. One way to do that is if you go up under this view bank of controls and right or control click, you can choose color up here. And then when I move off of that, you can see now there are our RGB values as well as alpha values. And if I move my mouse across the canvas, for instance, if I move it on this square here, you see it change. Or if I move it on these numbers, we can see 127, 0, and 0 for the RGB values. So it matches. It's correct. OK, so here's where we get into a little bit of an issue. We want this square, this, rect this shape, uh, motion shape to match. So what I'm going to do is select it. And then in the heads-up display, I'm going to click in the color swatch to bring up the OS 10 color picker. I'm going to go to this second section here and make sure RGB sliders is selected so we can see RGB values. Now I'm going to select the magnifying glass, and I'm going to sample from one of these, uh, letter, one of these numbers here. I'll click right on the 7. And we can see, sure enough, it says 127, 0, and 0. So technically, this shape has the same RGB values and should match. But check it out. You can see a difference. If I zoom in very closely, you can still see the 1 and the 2 in front of this red square. They're slightly different. So what's going on? Here's the deal. It looks like it's 127, 0, and 0, but it's not. And the way I'm going to prove that to you is I'm going to deselect that rectangle. I'm just going to click below it. I'm going to select it again. I'm going to hit the color swatch in the heads up display again and check it out. Look at this. It's actually 132, 0 and 0. Why? I don't know. But this is what happens. It can be very frustrating. So you say, well, how can I match this when motion isn't matching when I sample a color? So the answer is what you want to do is just go in here and manually type in the correct value. So I'll type 127 and hit return. And now it's 127, 0 and 0. And now you can see there's no way to see those other uh, values. If I zoom in close, you can't see the one or two at all because they match perfectly. And just to double check, I'll deselect, I'll reselect the rectangle, and click on this color swatch again in the heads up display, and we've got the right color values. So that's basically the little workaround that you need to do to make anything in motion match the color of some imported graphic or video or anything that you bring in is to first match it, deselect it, and then select again and type in the actual color values. If you don't know the color values, just use this RGB colors up in the top here to figure them out. So that's your quick motion tip for today. I hope you find that helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions. Again, Mark Spencer from AppleMotion.net and RippleTraining.com. And thanks for watching.